Hello, we are going back to Tinkercad, which is a program where you can create designs so that you can export them and 3D print them. So today's design that we're going to make is a chess pawn. So we are going to click on the colorful Tinkercad block in the upper left hand corner. That always takes you back to your dashboard. And then we're gonna click on learn in the upper right hand corner, click on lessons, and we're going to do the chess pawn. So click on chess pawn. If you hover over the chess pawn, you're going to see start and you're going to click on start and then it takes you into the tutorial. So we're going to start with our chess pawns. We're gonna click next and it says to drag a cylinder shape to the work plane. So I'm going to drag my cylinder in and then I hit next. Now it says scale it to a smaller height of three millimeters. So I grab this tool right here, not this one. The cone brings it up and down on the work plane but that's not what we're doing. So drag it down to three millimeters. You can also just type in the box if you like. We're going to hit next. And now it says drag a work plane to the top of the cylinder. So I grab my work plane tool in the upper right hand corner and I place it right on the work plane that's provided. Line up your two cones. So do you see the white cones? Line them up and then hit next. Now it wants us to drag a cone to the transparent area. Hit next. So we're going to scale it to a height of 11 millimeters. So I grab the top box, drag it down, down, down to 11 millimeters. Hit next. Now we're going to drag a sphere to the work plane. So I grab my sphere tool and I put it inside the work plane. It's helpful to use the rotate cube because as you can see, I actually didn't get it in the sphere area. So I'm just gonna take a look around and move it around, check it out. and hit next. Now we're going to scale it to a diameter of 18 millimeters. And up here I can tell that I'm working with my sphere because in the upper right hand corner it says sphere and I'm going to move this to 18 millimeters. And then I'm going to squish it down to five millimeters. And I'm going to make sure it's in the target area. Hit next, we're going to add another cone to the work plane. Hit next, we're going to scale it to a height of 28 millimeters. And again, you could just write in here if that's easier for you. And then we're going to scale the diameter of it to 14 millimeters. So I grab the bottom right tool and move it to 14 and then place it in the work area. Hit next and then place it in the work area. Also we need to lift it up three millimeter. To make this easier I changed the snap grid to 0.25 millimeters and that gave me some more control over where I moved it. Hit next. We're going to drag another cone. We're going to scale it to a diameter of 12 millimeters. So I'm going to click on the bottom right and move this to 12. Again, you could just type in there if you want and it needs to be 19 millimeters high. Hit next. And now we're going to rotate the cube 180. So if I click right here, it's just easier if I type in 180. And now it's upside down and we're going to move it to the target area. Again, you're really gonna to have to use that rotate cube that will really help you with this activity and hit next. We're going to the right hand corner, drag a work plane out and line it up with the other white dot Hit next, and we're going to drag a sphere out again. We're going to scale the sphere so it's eight by eight by eight millimeters. So if you hold the shift key down and then click on one of the squares, all of it will be sized to eight by eight. So right now I'm holding the shift key down. I'm not letting go. My shift key is still being held down. Hit next. 
Now we need to grab another sphere. So get a sphere from the shapes box and then place it in the transparent orange sphere circle. Hit next. We're going to drag a work plane now to the bottom here and that resets my work plane. So let me move this around so we could see the front of it again. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to select all the shapes. I can do this by click, hold, and dragging a box around the entire shape, and that selects everything. You can also do a Control A, or if you're on a Mac, a Command A. And now we're going to align our shapes. So over on the right-hand side, we are going to use the Align tool. So we'll click on Align, and I'm gonna make sure I have my front area so I can see this. And it says align the shapes on the front and side. So we'll do. You're going to select all the shapes again by click holding and dragging and you're going to click group. And now you have the shape of your chest piece. So this is a really good activity because this will allow us to make other shapes where we're creating our own or using them for a purpose. But I hope you had fun with this and have fun creating.